Okay, so for those of you that have been asking what I'm using for the active target pole, um, what I have is the Summit Fishing uh, pole. Uh, I think it's summitfishing.com. I'll, I'll put that here on the screen after I search it for sure. Um, what it is, is an adjustable pole. Um, it's got a transducer mount on the end. It's got a handle on top. The handle points the direction that your transducer's in so you know where, where you're looking basically. So I'll show you what we're up against here. So this one camera's on it. Here's the other one. So here's the handle. There's some tension knobs on this side. So the looser those are, then the looser this freely spins. Down in the water, no, I can't really see it, but I'll show you the transducers there. Comes to a mount. I've swapped this out and put a Scotty ball mount on here. Scotty arm, Scotty rod holder. I have it in a locking one, so I can just lift it straight up to release it. There's your adjustment, and there's your transducer on the end. So what I do is I hold that, uh, I have it on forward mode, which is two clicks up. It's got teeth in it to to know which way is which when I slide that back in I just flip that over to lock and she doesn't lift up anymore so I can spin it wherever I want it to uh, it's 3d printed it seems pretty solid I've had it for this season now this the summer season so it's been on the boat since May 15th had no issues with it um, plastic knobs here to set what the, the pieces that are inside here to, to then there's a groove in the raw in the bar here so these three set screws go into that groove so that's how you get your alignment with your transducer being straight like that there with the handle I've decided to point mine um, opposite of the handle you could turn the handle over flip it over and turn it so it, it points to where you actually are but I like it this way so it points that way just preference and I'll show you here what it looks like when it's stored how I've decided to store mine on my boat okay what I do is make sure it's locked unscrew the Scotty 163 flip the handle down and in I roll it forward I got that camera in a really bad place I flip open the R5 and I close it in it twist it to where I need it flip up and lock the handle down and all of a sudden she's locked in place so that is how I travel with it across the lake I'm not really worried about this bouncing if I am you could always do that if you don't like how it's twisting you can tighten the set screws here now she won't twist she's locked in doesn't want to come out of the rod holder again this is this holding it in place so she's good she doesn't bounce around she's solid there i got a buddy that leaves his on his boat like that when he drives on the truck um with on the trailer sorry and that there is the summit fishing pole 